Hi, Hermax here. Have you ever heard about a Linux distribution called Cambria Linux? I'm pretty sure you never heard of it. And you know why? Because it's not even released yet. Let's talk about it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. What is Cambria Linux? And why you never heard about it before. Cambria Linux is a fast and easy installer for Gentoo. The project aims to be a descendant of Orchid Linux. The idea behind the project was picked up from Orchid. The idea is to deliver a fast and efficient install of Gentoo with a pre-installed desktop environment, some homemade tool and some application corresponding to the user needs. I believe it's a pretty solid description of what they try to achieve. Some of their characteristics. In the same way Orchid did, we don't define us as a whole operating system, but more as a Gentoo Rice, which I really like, and I'm going to explain why after. We mostly focus on advanced users, even if our tools are here to make the install and maintenance of the distro easier than Gentoo. All Gentoo packages are available, and by default, the kernel is a Gentoo kernel bin, which follows the LTS challenge of Linux, and other kernel will be proposed after the install. We also deliver a GNOME and KDE desktop environment over DE will probably be added in the future. So why are we talking about this distribution today? The pre-alpha version of it has been released like less than 15 days ago. I've been invited to the Discord. We had the opportunity to talk uh, with the dev and some other like testers who put their hand on Cambria Linux. I have to say I'm pretty excited by the project. And I'm going to tell you why. 20 years ago, I was already having fun with Gentoo for a simple reason. I had to create gaming server and Gentoo was the only one at the time which was able to give me the level of tuning to get the best of the CPU for the server. And since then, I always have a special place in my heart for Gentoo. I think it's one of the best distro. I will definitely put it in my top three or top five distro ever. It is reliable and really solid. Now, why do I like Cambria Linux that much? So they come with a simple ID. If you are an advanced user, but you are still scared, about like trying Gentoo and you don't want to go through their incredibly long and tortuous installation <laughs> to say the least. Uh, you know, like if, if you don't know what you are doing, going through that can be really, really scary. Well, the promise of Cambria Linux is to install the desktop version of Gentoo in less than five minutes. So you know me. <laughs> We have to start and try it. And like that, I'm going to give you a good preview of what could happen to you if you give it a try. So obviously, uh, this is a virtual machine. So when you start, you have to choose uh, the key map. Uh, we're going to go default. And you will see the installer is pretty simple. The idea is really to go through all the hassle and get straight to the point. So we're going to do the install together and see how really fast uh, this distro can take to be installed on your SSD. Because sometimes a good video is better than a lot of words, if you know what I mean. <laughs> the script is here to help you install your distro easily. Let us guide you step by step and you will have a fully working Gentoo. Let's start. Ready? Yes, sir. Um, let's go automatic. Disk selection. Yes. Enter the swap. Um, if not sure, set CPU thread by two. Minus RAM size plus one only if the result is positive. Okay, we're gonna give it um, four gigabytes. Yes. Username Airmax. Password. A really hard password for you guys. Root password. A really hard, really, really, really hard root password. Enter your key map. Uh, US. I'm using a US international type of keyboard and, and I couldn't find it. It's something I'm gonna uh, share with them. I'm on their Discord and uh, they are super reactive. Install Cambria on the. Uh, uh, yes. Please wait while the script is doing the install for you. Okay. So yeah, I was saying they have a Discord and there they have like a full announce bugs 
GitHub and information channel. So all of those channels, they are really helpful if this is your first time, like you are uh, uh, diving into this distribution. I wouldn't advise anyone who has no clue toward Linux to jump into Gentoo. Gentoo is, in my opinion, a little bit like harder than Arch when it comes to uh, understanding like uh, their vision, like their philosophy in terms of, you know, like Linux distribution. They are above Arch. So, you know, if, if you are a beginner, I wouldn't advise that. However, if you are on Arch and you want to discover something, I would say different and really interesting, I would really advise you to, to try Gen 2. I think I'm supposed to say Gen 2, not Gen 2. Like Gen 2 for me is uh, the ultimate like shad version of Linux. Arch is pretty, it's pretty high. But Gen 2 is above, guys. I, I know I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, oh, Arch is the best, blah, blah, blah. But no. Uh, I, I love Arch, okay? I, I will use Arch above Gen 2 on a daily basis. But Gen 2 is, I will say, more interesting when it comes to, like, discovering and tuning your installation. Like it's, it's a level above on the counterpart is like you need to be ready to compile a lot so to give you an idea like when you install something on gen 2 if you don't know what i'm talking about everything needs to be compiled so obviously if you use flat back you're not going to compile anything we'll talk about it after but you need to compile everything every single package so you need to have a time in front of you and you need to have a beefy cpu I could not recommend using Gen 2 on a two-thread CPU, did <laughs> Like, you could, right? But like, oof, would be a tough one for you. And then, in jump to this screen, when he asks you for your local, so me, it's going to be again like English US. Enter. Then my key map. I'm going to choose US. And then my location, so I'm in Canada right now, Eastern, and that's all. You press R, you reboot, and you are in Gentoo. Simple as that. <laughs> that's pretty That's pretty awesome, if you ask me. Now, instead of jumping into the VM, we're going to jump into my desktop, because obviously I tried it, and we are running it on my PC. So, for proof... I'm going to give you a little neophage there. Uh, let's let make this baby a little bit bigger. There we go. So you can see I'm running Cambria Linux with uh, the 6.6 .6 TKG uh, EVDF kernel right now, which is still in testing, RC2. This is my main PC with my Ryzen 5950X and my NVIDIA 1490. Now, let's get into it. When you boot for the first time, you're going to have some script you have to, you're going to have to go through to set it up. And I think it is about Cambria Center. So you have to do sudo Cambria Center. So it's a different terminal because I installed another one, like I installed Kitty, which is my favorite, but it pushes you toward console. But here is the idea. You have four steps you have, you're going to have to go through when you are done the install. First, you're going to have to set up how to build the job. So you define how many make job do you want. So me, I went for like 30. And how many MR job you want to do at the same time. So I've been pretty conservative here. And I think I set up three or four. Yeah, three is enough. Then here is going to ask you what is your Lion configuration. Uh, you go there and you and you decide uh, what is your configuration there for, for your country. Uh, I won't be doing it because I, I already did it. Then you have the CPU optimizer, which is going to set up all the different flags for your CPU. It's automatic. You have nothing to do. And the last one is to clean video card because I believe they install all the drivers. And by doing that, you're going to remove the one you don't want anymore so you go here you enter and then with the space bar you choose whatever you want to keep so me have nvidia we will have choose nvidia and press enter that's all then when the script is done you're, you're good to go also cambria with come with over like little script you have the Cam cambria center we already checked the cambria install which is the cambria 
which uh, give you the opportunity to install any type of application. So let's say I want to install Kitty, for example. I should have to type sudo in front of it, but you see, it's going to check if I can install it or not. It's already installed, obviously, but this is the ID. Then you have the Cambria update, which is going to check if your system is up to date. So we're going to do that together. So I have nine packages to upgrade. I'm not doing that now, but you got the idea. Then you have the Cambria uh, one, which, which I find pretty funny is the update sleep here. The update sleep is to update and then turn off your computer. So the idea is like, because you're going to have to compile a lot of things, it's going to take some time. You just want to run a Cambria update sleep when you go to sleep like that. Your computer is going to do the job upgrade everything and it's going to turn off itself so it's, it was a pretty good one and then you have so the cambria delete to remove some of the app so cambria kernel testing is to install the latest testing kernel on your uh, operating system that's all like you don't have to do anything crazy you just install that and it should be good so here if i remember uh, this is this 5, 6.5.3. Yeah, here we go. Because I installed it for fun. So 6.5.3 here. So now, what is the difference between the gaming and the other version of the ISO? I would say the gaming, it will come with a lot of like pre-compile application for you to be ready to go. So if I understand correctly, like they're going to have Lutris pre-compiled, which was on, on this distro here. And they're going to have also like OBS and Cadian Live. So I'm going to start it, launch it for you. That's the first time I'm lasting it. So, so it's working right off the bat. Pretty neat. You have everything ready. He detects my mic too. So yeah, pretty nice. So obviously, you know me, we had to try that. Overwatch, I installed it uh, through Lutris, which was already pre-installed. I went for a little Battle.net install. Everything went pretty nice. I really invite you to see my tutorial for installing uh, Battle.net on Linux. I have two of them, uh, one under uh, Bottles and the other under Lutris. This is the Lutris one here. So just for you to see, we are in borderless windowed here. I unlock the maximum frame rate to 600. There is no render scale. We are at 100%. The game is set up to ultra. And uh, yeah, I, I put the display performance stat. So this is the first time I'm running the game. I had some compilation shader at the beginning. But you see at this distance, I'm, I'm locking up the FPS. I'm at 596 or whatever. Like the game is running awesome. Like the game is really running awesome, I have to say. What a, what a great experience. What a great experience, boys. Well, 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 can we say that Cambria Linux just deliver? I, I think it does. And you have to think it's just an alpha right now. I've been following the project for less than 14 days. <laughs> and what you have is certainly not perfect. I think the team has a lot of work ahead, but the base is solid. Using Gen 2 and being able to have it up and running with all the driver installed in less than five minutes on my machine. It took me four minutes to go from the install screen to my KD desktop. Four minutes, dude. It's, it's just awesome. So if you look at the project, I think they are actively working for a 0 0.3 alpha right now. And what they are going to do and what, what the promise is, is that they're going to make the menu a little bit readable. They're going to continue on this aspect. But man, like what, what a good surprise. So obviously I'm a little bit biased because I love Gen 2. I think it's, it's a really good operating system. But I believe for uh, the advanced user, we want to step up their game. We want to discover, you know, a new distro, Cambria Linux is the right way, in my opinion, to jump into the Gen 2 world without a lot of hassle. So yeah, that's all. Like, I am really invite you guys to go on their Discord and to follow them on GitHub. 
because their team is definitely going in the right direction and I'm impatient to see uh, what will be the final outcome uh, from from this uh, this project guys as always thank you very much for watching I'm gonna be looking at it you know from above and you know testing whatever they, they want me to test because I, I really like that and yeah that's all so don't forget to give a thumb up to subscribe if you want to help the channel financially don't forget to give a little membership on youtube or to become a, a patreon i will really appreciate that and yeah uh, that's all for today have a good one and as always bisous bisous